Hello guys and welcome to my channel. As you know guys, this is one of the video of the series of video that I am doing here on my channel to create a drone right from the scratch for the aerial photography. In this video guys, I am going to install this GPS module from Metexis which comes along with the compass module onto my drone frame which I have assembled in my previous videos guys. So guys, if you have not seen my previous videos on how to assemble this drone frame, I will put the link of the video above or in the description below. For you guys to check it out in addition to that guys i have already done a detailed review of this metexis gps module i have already gone through in detail these features and specifications of this gps module if you have not seen that video as well guys i will put the link of the video above or in the description below for you guys to review so guys if you are new to assembling the drone ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that i have to share before we move further guys if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos let's get started so before we can go and install this metexis gps module onto this drone frame let me recap for the people who are watching this video for the first time some of the specifications for this metexis gps module the gps module that i'm going to install here on my drone frame is from metexis model number is m8q5883 m8q is your model number for the gps and 5883L is the compass module which is installed here on this GPS module. Like I told you before guys, Metexis also make a GPS module without compass. So GPS module can definitely give you the location or position of the drone in the real world but it cannot give you the orientation of your drone frame. So if you guys really want to locate your drone in the real world scenario and want to control it intelligently, you need to have a compass module that will also tell you in which direction your drone is facing and in which direction you need to move relative to your current position and move on to the next position in which direction, right? So this is super important guys. If you want to have such kind of navigation from your drone to have a GPS module that has an inbuilt compass module. In addition to that guys, it also has a battery module here on the back. So whenever you boot this GPS module for the first time, it might take around 10 minutes to locate and search all the satellites available in your area for getting the gps lock but from the next time guys it is going to be super faster because of this battery module it is able to retain the memory of the satellites it has searched from the past before we can go with the installation let's quickly also review the pin diagram so here guys as you can see the pin diagram here on the top it says 5 volt ground 5 volt is the voltage required to power this gps and compass module together rx and tx pin is to get the location information for the gps module da and cl is your serial port which will communicate your flight controller the direction and orientation of your drone so this is the compass module that is giving out the signal from da and ca gps module is giving out the information from rx and tx so i have already done guys another video on how to do the wiring diagram so this is how your gps module looks like at the bottom guys you can see there is a jst pin this is a micro jst pin which is already installed on your gps module so you don't need to solder any wires here on this gps module to connect it to your flight controller you can use the jumper connection which is here and the wiring that it came with so this is the quick overview guys so guys if you want to know more detailed information and technical specifications of this gps module i will put the link of the detailed overview video that i have done here on my channel in the video above or in the description below for you guys to check it out now let us quickly go and install this gps module onto the drone frame so guys before we can install this gps module onto my drone frame there are a few preparations that you need to do so first thing that you need to do is to connect this jumper wire that came along with this gps module onto this uh, gps module so here is the jumper connection guys here on the back here you can see there are two sides of jumper connection which it has but you need to connect this jumper wire here where it says the 5 volt ground rxtx and daca so this is the place guys where you need to connect this jumper connection if you connect it on the other side guys it will not work so ensure that guys you are connecting the jumper connection here on the right direction so match the jumper cables and connect it like this once your jumper connection is done guys you need to install it on your drone frame 
before we can do that guys since it is going to be exposed outside my drone frame and it has no protection i am going to install this shrinkable cover that came along with this matex's gps module so let me quickly do that i will insert this gps module right inside this one like this with my wires coming out I'm going to go right like this because it has a very less space on my drone frame here which I'm going to show you in a minute to install this GPS module so it has to be of the right size I'm going to cut it from here so that the protection cover is just the right size of this GPS module and then I'm shrink it and I'm going to come back. So as you can see guys, I have already put the shrink cable cover on the top of my GPS module that will protect it from any damage or weather damage it will have whenever it is flying. So this is something really nice from Metexas to include this kind of cover right in the packaging along with this GPS module. So you can see it is properly installed. Now let us go on to the drone frame guys where I'm going to install. So here my drone frame guys, this is the drone frame which I have already assembled in my previous videos guys. So ensure that you check out. If you do not understand this drone frame guys, I really urge you to check out my previous videos in which I have already assembled this drone frame on my channel so that you understand all other components which are present here on the drone frame so here guys on the back side of the drone frame here i have a gps module holder guys so this is the place where i'm going to install the gps module here you can see there is a notch this is the notch guys cut out in the gps holder guys for the wire to go from this side to the direction of the flight controller where i'm going to install the wires and connect it to the flight controller guys so first thing that you need to do guys before installation of gps is to pass all the wires that are coming out of the gps module through this hole so that it is easier to install and then your gps module is going to be installed like this here on the top so here you see guys and notice the arrow which is there on the gps module is going to be on to the back side facing of my drone so guys this is also something important to notice which i'm going to tell you in a minute let's first push in this gps module right in this hole so that it is installed properly so you have to push it a bit like this and then stretch a bit so that the gps module fits inside as you can see there is a notch on the top guys that will hold your gps module back and this is little bit rubberized so it will be easier to pull it back a little bit and then push in the gps module so that the notch is away and it has enough space for gps module to set down so you can see guys i have properly inserted the gps module onto the back side of this drone frame this is the gps holder guys you can see there are three notches which is going to hold the gps module right in its place we don't need to screw it down or anything anyways it does not have any screw holder or anything this is the frame itself guys which is going to hold this gps module tight right here in its place on the bottom side guys as you can see the wires which are coming out we are going to go all the way through to the front where i'm going to install my flight controller and then these wires are going to be connected onto your flight controller so that your gps module is powered up and the flight controller can communicate through the gps module so this is important guys your gps module has to be far away from the flight controller or any power supply circuit so that the compass module or gps module does not get interference from any electrical signal or electromagnetic waves which are generated through high power consumption modules which are present or installed here on the drone so which is why guys this drone frame has got an extension where you can install the gps module far away from all the electrical circuits which are there on the drone frame so this is also something really nice and thoughtful from this drone frame manufacturer this is an iflight titan x5 drone frame which i'm using here on this video guys to install this gps module so as you know guys from my previous videos the flight controller that i'm going to use here on this drone is made by matexis as well uh, flight controller that i'm going to use is f765 wse this is the flight controller i have chosen to use on my quadcopter as per the connection goes you can see here you have da1 ca1 tx2 rx2 4v5 and ground so these are the pins which i'm going to use to connect my gps module onto this flight controller so let me show you guys and quick overview on the wiring diagram. So 
guys now let us quickly connect the gps onto this flight controller guys so here you can see da1 cl1 tx2 rx2 5 volt and ground this is how we are going to connect the gps so these are the wires from the gps guys which i'm going to connect so red being the power and black being the ground let's connect them all in the sequence guys according to the connection that you have here on the gps module guys so let's quickly do that let's first tin the ports and then we will do the connection So guys, I have already tinned all the ports here as you can see. Now let's quickly connect them all. So first let's connect the ground. So ground is black. So ground is connected. Let's now connect the power. Or 5 volt. So red is the 5 volt. So let's connect the 5 volt. So the 5 volt is connected as well, guys. Yellow is RX. So it is going to go on TX. And blue is TX, which is going to go on RX. Let's connect the blue on to RX right here. So blue is connected to Rx because that was Tx and then yellow is going to be Tx because it is connected to Rx on my GPS module. So here it is. My yellow is connected. CL1 DA is DA is DA is white. DA is white. DA is white. So DA go to DA and green goes to CA. So let's first connect the CA pin guys here. So this is my CA. The last pin is the white one that goes to DA. Let's connect DA quickly. So here you can see guys, my GPS pin is connected to my flight controller as well. So this is done. Before we conclude the video guys, this flight controller, as I was telling you, the arrow is marking towards the back. So whenever you configure this GPS module into the software or the firmware of the flight controller, ensure that you select 90 degree flip if your GPS module is facing onto the back. I am just going to say it is clockwise 90 degree rotated because it is facing on towards the back but if your gps module is facing on to the back side and your arrow is pointing on to the front then you need to use 270 degree flip if your gps module is facing backwards and it is flip you need to use 90 degree flip so these are the configuration guys which is important to select in the flight controller settings after you have installed this gps module depending upon the direction in which the arrow is facing so this is also super important guys for you to know after you have installed this GPS module on your drone frame. So guys in my future videos I will also be showing the detailed configuration on how to set this GPS module and compass module in the flight controller in beta flight or Adriel flight or INAV. So ensure that guys you stay tuned to my channel for my future videos. So this is it guys this concludes the installation of GPS module onto the drone frame and the connection diagram to the flight controller. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video, please do not forget to hit that like button. If you have any questions or comment, please leave them in the comment section below. I will try and answer as soon as possible. If you are new to my
my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications for all my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies